Hello and welcome back to our channel where we're experimenting heating this greenhouse without any electricity. Today I wanted to reveal our solar air heating box that we used just recycled materials for. We had gotten some free panes of glass from an old recycled window that we had taken apart and we built this box just for the window panes so we could lay them right across the top and catch all of the energy from the sun. I'm going to experiment with the angles of deflection because we may be reflecting a lot of light as opposed to absorbing. This solar heater is not only heating the airspace in here, it is going to heat our floor also. Once I kick our fan on, that's going to draw all of the heat from this box through our floor to the other side of our greenhouse. So let me explain. I wanna show everybody what I've got going on here. So looking at our solar box, you can see all of these rocks we had placed and all of these bricks all free. Got a nice chunk of iron, some extra brick. Now that vent tube runs through the floor, right out the bottom of the box, all the way down to the other end. My son helped me excavate this out. We buried the hose about a foot deep all the way through the entire floor of our greenhouse. Now on this end of the box, we have these little holes to draw cold air from the bottom of our floor up into our box. All of the heat will rise up as this box is angled up, all the heat will rise and be drawn right through our tube. This box has been sealed up for about an hour now and I had pulled this top pane off yesterday after I built it because we had some condensation with all of our rocks. So they are fully dry now. I just put the panel back on and all of them are pretty well secure. So I had just slid one pane down here to kind of see what temps were sitting at. This piece of iron sitting about 84 degrees about 81 for the rest of the rocks which is decent temperatures for only being in there covered up for an hour in the sealed box these rocks have been in the sun all day but they are just ambient temperature they were about 75 76 degrees when we had sealed this box up so we had gotten 10 degrees of gain on our solar heat sink all of these rocks and chunk of iron all hold that heat very well into the night so here we are down at the southern facing side of our greenhouse we have this little solar powered fan which is a 10 watt 5 volt little fan with a small little solar panel that's encased in plastic to keep it waterproof and protected from the elements now this is the same fan we used on our small greenhouse except our small greenhouse has a 5 watt fan this one is 10 so we're going to turn this on and start pulling heat from that box all the way down to this side we had this little coupler in order to reach the right diameter size to pull air from it and fit snugly with the fan. Got our fan on. It's definitely putting some air out here, enough to move all the leaves here. I can feel it way back here, so it's definitely getting some good airflow. So I wanted to get a little reading. About 73 degrees, 72 degrees. Now keep in mind, we just set that box up about an hour ago and we just turned this fan on for the first time. So it is slowly going to build heat. It's not gonna be instantaneous. I did not expect a whole lot of heat out of that on first startup. I'm super excited that it's working. This little system right here is going to heat the airspace and our floor all at the same time. So this was a very cool little experiment here and I am interested to see what I can observe for data. I want to collect some data on a cold cloudy day, on a warm sunny day like today. We had partly cloudy today and it was about 47 degrees outside. We're sitting about 65, 70 degrees in our greenhouse and we've got about 20 mile an hour winds making it a little chillier outside. So this is going to be very cool to observe and collect some data and I'm going to bring an update on how this performs in different conditions. But I also want to talk about our water heating system, our solar water heater. I have some cool observations to make on this box here. So this box has heated up to 90 degrees. It is absolutely blazing in there and that is very cool that's good data to collect because it was partly sunny today we just started to get the sun come through right now so this didn't have a whole lot of solar energy being put into it along with this this didn't have a whole lot of solar energy and i had just sealed the top pane up so it was basically open and venting all that heat out all day now back to our water heater. I had turned this system off. I've been covering the hose with this to keep algae growth down and keep dirt and debris out. Take it off for a minute here. So when this is not running, this steadily builds up and it's about 91 degrees, 
we are going to turn this on and I want to show how much heat transfer we're getting just through that hose in this hot box. So after about 30 seconds to a minute of running, we're already down to about 88 degrees. So it is transferring immediately. And I wanted to set this up right on top of our hose, kind of, just to get a good sense of what's going on and what temperatures we're achieving. I would like to have a little thermometer up in the top corner. And I'm going to put a small little thermometer in our solar heating box so I don't have to pop it open in order to take the temperatures on. So I'm going to let this run for a couple minutes and document the time and kind of see what we're transferring for heat to our water. All right, here we are about 10 minutes later. This has really slowed down the movement. It's sitting about 81 and it's not going anywhere. So we've transferred about 10 degrees of heat into our floor and into our water just by passively heating it with this solar box and a solar panel out here, all solar powered. Everything in this system runs off the sun and it's allowing us to superheat this bed and hold all that heat underneath our rocks, solar banking. This has been a very cool experiment and it seems to be pretty productive as long as we have a little bit of sun. So stay tuned for the update on the solar air and floor heating box as I'm gonna collect some data and I'm going to bring my results to everybody as I collect it. We've got some colder temperatures coming up here, so I'm interested to see how this performs. And like I said also, I wanna experiment with the angles. I don't wanna deflect more light than I'm absorbing. So if anybody's got any questions on our solar heating box or our fan or what we're doing in this greenhouse at all, anything in here, please drop it in the comments below and we will get right back to you. We appreciate all the feedback and the input. We get a lot of ideas and we can bounce ideas back and forth with everybody, which helps out a lot when brainstorming. I really appreciate everybody watching these videos and giving their input also. Thank you very much.